Kristen, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Bowls. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Anchors away. Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die.
see I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Hard Skellig. There's a wetcha Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Come on. I've got to go to the port. Uh. Bid farewell to King Bran. It's not fitting to play out. Before we it will be no shame to bow our heads. Only oh, when a man in need. to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then.
You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth.
come to the wake with me? Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Syria was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors. Not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. White Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? 
terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit high, master. That's dear it is, but could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. <laughs> Every man on the continent so blessed. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the Drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kjerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. Well, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him, once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, where the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. You, Tove. I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kevilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell.
stench again. Slime and rotting flesh. Is on his neck. Definitely not a trailer. Strangled. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. <laughs> 